Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, April 28, 2021. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Couldn't get the studio again this week, so I'm back in the home cam here. Tuesday, May 3rd, yes, we are almost into May. We have the last quarter moon in the early morning sky, rising in the uh, early, early hours and setting right around noon. We've had some good improvement in drought. The uh, water is soaking in and the measurements are coming in and it's looking better. Now, as I record this, we're beginning what is probably going to be about an inch to inch and a half rainfall period. So, yeah, this is going to be just better news uh, in the next week or two. This is last week's with some abnormally dry conditions up in the northeast, moderate drought, still kind of bad in the west and mixed in the south. And going to this week, we actually are back to being drought free in northeastern Boulder and up into Larimer County. That's amazing. So we'll see even more improvement next. Looking nationally, uh, there's spots here and there, but not as noticeable as what we had locally. And some of that is from this last seven days of rain. You can see the half inch to one inch mark in the light green and up to two to three inches in the yellow. For Tuesday, uh, we have PM, we still have the storm moving through. Uh, I will have the rainfall totals from this next week and it will also be posted on probably Wednesday morning at the uh, Longmont Leader. So, you can check over there all, at any time for frequent weather updates. So, Wednesday's, Tuesday into Wednesday's storm is caused by this gigantic trough in the west. There's Longmont with pink dot there. We've got a ridge out west and a ridge in the east, so they're enjoying some really warm temperatures while we chill back into the 40s. We had on Tuesday p.m. a chance of some severe weather. This is a marginal risk going right back to the I-25 corridor. Uh, some thunderstorms are popping out there right now. I haven't seen any storm reports, but I will include that uh, in the Longmont Leader and try to remember to put that in next week's if there are any hail or even tornado reports in this area. Tornado chances are pretty small, but hail certainly is a possibility uh, in northeast Colorado. So taking a look at the next 10 days in the GFS Ensemble, this is the big rain and storm period, Tuesday into Wednesday. So this video might be up as the rain shower chances are fading out. You can see our normal high temperature is going from 65 to 68. Our normal low is 36 up to 40. That's amazing. It's really climbing quickly now. The actual temperatures are cold with that trough passing. For the weekend, we go up abnormally warm. If we hit 85 around Longmont, I would not be surprised. Uh, these are, this is an average of a bunch of different runs. You can see it doesn't quite get to 80, but I'm seeing some model data that's really toasty. And then we go next week back to normal with sort of general showery chances. So by the weekend, that heat comes from this big ridge. You can see the ridge center uh, down here over the Baja, uh, right up the spine of the Rockies, basically. As put into motion, take a look at the evolution of this big trough as it kind of starts to fill in and gets scooped into the flow. Here comes our ridge out west, gigantic high pressure system over Southern California. Kind of a nice time for that with Disneyland opening after more than a year. For the weekend, we have this big ridge. Going into next week, sort of a zonal flow with a trough beginning to push down into the mountains in Colorado for Tuesday. It's not as big and deep at this time, so it may not be such a problem. And we have a ridge coming in later in the week with some serious heat. Will this bring 90s? Uh, it's not impossible, but we'll see. So let's take a look at the oscillations of temperatures. We've got the cold air associated with the trough at the beginning of the week, and then that pushes out quickly. Here comes the heat for the weekend. Look at those abnormally warm temperatures just spreading out into the plains. Eastern U.S. chills, we begin to bake. Sunday is just going to be amazing. Then going off into Monday, 
We see a little cold front. It's not big, but definitely a front pushing down the uh, eastern side of the Rockies in the plains. By Wednesday, us pushing out, and here comes that next blowtorch of heat uh, as the next ridge begins to advance eastward. So we have the rain showers and thunderstorms at the beginning of this period. They pull out, at least by Wednesday, midday, Wednesday afternoon, the sharp rain chances go to almost nothing. And then we just are dry. So off goes the front, off the east coast. We have a little bit of showery stuff in the Pacific Northwest, but that's always there going into Monday. And then Tuesday, you can see the better rain is up here in Wyoming at first. Then it does spread over northeast Colorado for much of a day, Tuesday into Wednesday. It's almost exact same timing as this week's storm. So with temperatures warming up, over just the next five days. I didn't want to scoop in the next 10 this time. You can see there could be a dusting down to Boulder, Lyons maybe, but the snow is really uh, going to be confined to the higher elevations. The snow level may, may get to under about 6,000 feet Wednesday morning, but should be 7,000 feet or higher for most of the storm. We got a mountain here that are up to a foot, so there's a winter storm warning that will be expiring about the time this video comes out. For rainfall, well, we have good water here. It's one to one half inch, and that's been very consistent across Weather Underground, the GFS, and the Canadian model, all different patterns, but they have all had about inch to inch and a half for many, many days in the forecast. So that's probably what we're going to wake up to on Wednesday. So looking into the next seven days, uh, we go from the 60s before the front, we do return to the 70s after the front, the sun comes back out. Here's our mid 80s for Saturday, maybe 80s on Sunday. We cool a little bit with the showers returning next week. Again, for frequent other weather updates, take a look at Longmont Leader, and I often put the link to this week's video there as well, just kind of cross pollinate. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.